So that's a good question. So um, part of uh, my research that I've done in collaboration with uh, Cassie, Kathy Swoboda and Matt Sweeney and um, uh, looking at our group of patients, mostly North American patients, 80% were found to have the ATP1A3 uh, mutations. Uh, other centers have found up to 100% of patients have the ATP1A3 mutation. Um, so when I started medical school, we were taught one gene, one disease. And then it became one gene, multiple diseases. And then it became multiple, di multiple uh, uh, genes, one disease. And so we see these mimickers in nature. Um, and uh, so I think that's what we're seeing as part of the ATP1A3. Uh, it could be that there's also some sites in the ATP1A3 uh, gene that we haven't uncovered yet, the introns, which are the, the areas in between the coding areas of the, of the gene. Um, or it could be a second site, like we, we see in other paroxysmal diseases where you can get uh, 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 genes at different sites, at different genes causing the same symptoms. Um, so I think eventually we'll find other loci of where uh, these genes are.